What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idol Heroes news for October 8th, 2020. So, yes, we have a Profit Orb event coming up. We have Heroic Miracle. We have the Vortex, which should be out this weekend, and a ton more info plus some giveaways. So, guys, take a quick second, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump right into the news. So, the daily rewards are one Profit Orb for logging in every day. Same old, same old for Profit Orb events. We do, of course, have the Profit Orb event. We have Scary and Ignis as the two rewards. Uh, decent pulls. I mean, Scary is just 100% food nowadays. I know some of you guys out there are probably still building your Scary Army, but yeah, probably not a good look anymore, especially now that you got the Laceums, things like that. Yeah, it's even solo he heroes are actually out damaging Scary Armies now, so... Not something you want to be building, but Ignis is very good in PvP. She can do decent in Crystal Crown League. She is pretty amazing in Trial of Champion. And she can do very good things on uh, in IDA and even Guild Wars as well. So definitely consider picking her up. Although, Tix is going to be the next one. And we really don't know if any of the Profit Orb events are going to line up with either halloween black friday or christmas as of right now they are all lined up with heroic scroll events so we're gonna have to see how that works out we do have the heroic miracle with mim as the final reward again if you are someone that is uh is looking to go into ida or even get better at guild wars mim can be an amazing pickup um he's not that great really in trial of the champion or crystal crown league right now she's mainly there for the big tons of team lineups because you can build two of them for a mim cheese and do pretty decent so you should be grabbing copying him of him anyway and just saving up we have the ormus workshop back we will have that for two weeks so time to upgrade your artifacts regress your artifacts whatever you need to do this is the time especially if you're trying to push aspen dungeon just turn all those artifacts into one big one, push Aspen Dungeon, and then regress them back to your normal ones. You lose absolutely nothing when regressing artifacts in the Ormus Workshop. We do have a puppet package. So, my guess here is it's a $100 package. I'm never a fan of the 9-star packages. They're always very expensive. They just don't really seem worth it. Yes, you get 35 profit orbs. I mean, it, it value-wise for DH games is probably good, but I wouldn't do it. Not this one. I mean, if you desperately need food and you are a mid to high spender, you could consider it. But overall, usually these are not worth it. But you know what is worth it? <laughs> Glorious boost is back, guys. And this one is probably one of the best glorious boosts we've ever had. Magic Stone Sword is an okay pickup. Is it worth 400 relics? I would say probably not. Stay away from it. We have Augustus Magic Ball for 400. Absolutely worth it. Probably out of everything here, it is the most worth 400 relics out of any artifact ever. Demon Bell can be good it did get buffed to give more energy to your team but again i i wouldn't prioritize it crown for 400 is probably the other one besides augustus magic ball it is absolutely bonkers crazy good especially when upgraded especially in aspen dungeon to try to help you get to aspen dungeon death 100 so that's a good one antlers cane nah it's, it's purely a pve artifact essentially nothing really too amazing so crown and augustus magic ball pick whichever one you need the most to build on your team but yeah this glorious boost is absolutely crazy amazing and then of course we have the normal value packages as always guys value packages not really something that's worth it for profit orb events really there's no extra bonuses from the looks of it either we're just getting we're not even getting like starlight orbs or anything like that so yeah i would stay away from the value packages the, the event's over we're getting a new non-holiday event week it's just not worth it and then lastly we have a function adjustment of enlisting flora 
to the profit tree and super wishing found so if you do want flora copies you can pull her in the forest faction you can swap for her in the profit tree as well or you can spin her on the super wishing fountain moving on to the void vortex update so yes we are going to be getting this on android ios all the servers are finally getting the void vortex pve mode and it is coming on october 10th so i think what that means is for most of us i say most of us but most are not not tonight's update but friday slash saturday whenever that update that uh that daily reset happens i believe that's when we are going to be getting the void vortex it is going to be open every tuesday and saturday for 48 hours so it's very similar in fashion to aspen dungeon but aspen dungeon is on a 48 hour on 48 hour off rotation so every week your events line up slightly different this one here it opens every tuesday and every saturday so it's going to be open tuesday and wednesday closed thursday friday open saturday sunday closed monday open tuesday again so there's like there's only three days down let's see how it works out i think it's kind of cool there'll be five different areas of the void vortex the forerunner pioneer explorer valiant defier mm, defier area and in each one of those there will be five planets to attack in each area of the void vortex there are void void radiations that inflict debuffs on your heroes so you will have protection signets that will essentially nullify those debuffs very important we'll go into it in a lot more detail as soon as it opens so if you're confused on what it is guys hold off until saturday or sunday let me get a video out let me explain it to you guys uh, essentially what this game mode is going to be is uh it's like aspen dungeon and it's like tower of oblivion if they fused and had a baby something like that so it's gonna be really interesting uh, you will have tiered rewards and you'll be able to smash all the previous levels you've beaten very similar to aspen dungeon as well and then of course there's other things where each combat will take one of the energy burners you'll accumulate them over time you can buy them i believe as well for gems so we'll have to see how that goes overall so what do you guys think about this event coming up honestly i can't wait to get my hands on the void vortex i will probably stream this saturday not a hundred percent sure there's definitely no stream tonight on thursday on event update but um yeah profit or event not sure how many people are going to do it for ignis i think a lot more people are going to want to save up and get that ticks copies um mim's not the best heroic miracle miracle but it's good the glorious boost now this is something i just want to reiterate on one more time before we get out of here guys relics feathers whatever you want to call them nowadays need to be pretty much exclusively spent on artifacts only uh it's just getting crown getting augustus magic ball getting multiple them multiple of them to splendid or even just your first one is such a power boost that i don't think it's really worth investing relics in hero copies anymore in the relic shop now if you are short like one or two russell copies or one or two carry copies i maybe you could use relics but then how often we actually get light and dark chest and just regular five star chest nowadays the selection chest is crazy high i really think it has made them lose their value when it comes to using relics on light and dark hero copies i think getting these artifacts and upgrading them in ormus is beyond one of the most powerful things you can do for your account nowadays so definitely definitely consider it we will be doing a giveaway in this video another subscriber giveaway this time we're going to give away a few more cd keys i know we have some giveaways we need to announce as well but we're most likely going to be making dedicated giveaway videos as far as announcements go in the future uh gonna keep the news updates to pretty much announcing and 
making new giveaways so this weekend and pretty much every weekend from here on out we'll be making a separate giveaway video so if you want to see if you're one of the winners check out that video when it comes out this weekend because especially now that we are kind of having two smaller groups of we i mean we have our idol heroes fans which guys you guys are amazing and then of course we have some newer fans of genshin impact that probably won't check out videos like this so i want to make it so that everybody has a chance really to see any giveaway information so we'll be giving away a couple cd keys here make sure you use that keyword cd key if you want a chance to win those in this video we will be giving them away at 26,000 subscribers we are growing so fast guys if you have not because i know technically 50 percent of you guys have not hit that subscribe button just yet please do it means so much to me right now guys just seeing that number climb up it's kind of like a nice pat on the back like you know barry you're actually doing some good stuff so hopefully you guys enjoy this one hopefully you are gonna be here for the long term for the ride up to 100,000 subs nah i'm getting way ahead of myself we'll see we'll see but hopefully you guys enjoy this uh event coming up this week we will try to stream on saturday i know i've been slacking i'll see you guys next time